Hello friends, welcome back. In my previous tutorial, we learned how to start automation of web app applications using Excel macros. Now we learn how to populate text boxes on the web application using Excel macros. So let's start learning that. So this is the VBA editor and I have written few steps like uh, I have created the object of Internet Explorer and I am navigating to a website and here we have the code which pauses the execution until the site is correctly loaded on the Internet Explorer browser. So if there are any questions regarding these lines of code which I have already written over here I would request you to please view my previous video where I have explained in detail like why these lines of code are required. So at this point of time we have navigated to the website the website has loaded correctly on the Internet Explorer browser. Now we will write the code to populate a text box on the web application. So for doing that, assume that this is the text box which we need to populate. So I should know some of the HTML properties of this text box which would uniquely identify it. So what I'll do is I'll just right click this and select this option inspect element. So this is the same functionality like when we have to see the internal HTML properties on any browser like Chrome or Firefox we perform the same steps like we do a right click and inspect element. So if you are using an edge browser which I am using right now and sometimes when you do a right click and this inspect element does not come up just press the function key F12 and it would start working. So now this is working and when I do an inspect element the element has been highlighted over here so if I would see the ID of this first name element is this u underscore 0 underscore j so we will use this ID to populate this first name text box through our code so just make a note of this u underscore 0 underscore j we'll use it so now once again I go back to my VBA editor here I'll write the code so this was the IE object which was created so I'll use this object the syntax is IE dot document dot get element by IDE within brackets within double quotes the id which we just noted u underscore zero underscore j so this will uniquely identify this first name element which is a text box now we wish to populate this text box so what we'll do is after this we'll do a dot value is equal to any string so within double quotes I'll provide any string I am providing any random string so if everything is correct after execution we should see this value k j d whatever on this text box so let's execute this and see whether it works fine or not so to execute it either press the function key f5 or just click this green button at the top so let's go so you see it has loaded the page and it has correctly populated the text into the text box. So this is how you populate the text boxes on the web application using Excel VBA macros. This is very simple just it is like the syntax is a bit different than Selenium but it is very simple to achieve this. I hope you found this tutorial helpful if you like my videos I would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest videos which I would be uploading. Thanks for joining guys. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye bye.